Hey guys, uh, welcome back. I just wanted to um, show you the first stage of my um, of my seed starting. Um, I have had success and I've had failure with this method. Um, once again, this is not the method. It is a method. It happens to be my method. No guarantees on results or anything like that. So, sorry. Uh, let's see here. So these are the containers that I'm using at the moment. Um, I, I'm just using plastic containers um, that are food grade safe. Um, a lot of people will disagree with this, saying that plastic is evil, bad, etc. I just take the stance on if it's around and it's convenient and it's um, safe for food, then I will will use it and I will hopefully have success with it. Um, so. <laughs> Use it, don't use it, uh, criticize me, don't criticize me, whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> but this is just the way I do it. So um, I, I do snap these lids on tight, and I do put them on a, um, a uh, laptop uh, power brick um, to take the heat off of that. Uh, my computer's on uh, most of the time. I live here in Florida, so it's not like I need a heat mat or anything. I just have something that's going to, you know, have temperatures warmer than, than in here. <laughs> Sorry, you guys can hear my four-year-old in the background. He's supposed to be quiet, but you know how that goes. <laughs> so these are these are seed starts here um, that I started uh, probably four days ago. I would have to go back and look in my log. Sorry, guys. Um, probably should have had that info. But as you can see, uh, doing quite well. Um, these seeds here, uh, all four have sprouted. Um, this, this is I've had extremely good luck with those. Uh, they're, they're lettuce. Um, I'm not entirely sure the name of them, but they are lettuce. Um, so you can see this little guy here. You actually have a hard time seeing. Um, but you can see that one's growing as well. So we end up having two, four, five, six. Oops, I'm sorry. So let's see if we can get this right. One, two, three, four. This one's five, which that's that white one, which is very hard to see, but trust me, it's there. Five. And then of course six. So we had six sprout. Um, not sure that one looks like it may be beginning to sprout. Um, not entirely sure, but that's not a big deal. Um, the two seeds of interest are these two. These are organic spinach seeds. Um, I, anybody that's watched some of the previous videos or maybe there'll be future videos, not entirely sure what order I'm going to upload these, but, um, I don't grow organically. Um, it's not something that I try to avoid. It's just something that I can't say honestly because of the things that I use, um, you know, a lot of seeds are not certified organic. Um, I do use or uh, heirloom seeds when I can. Um, you know, uh, I do experiment with uh, seeds that I get from the from the supermarket, though, um, just to kind of play around and see what happens. I mean, if they grow and they grow some great tomatoes, then I harvest the seeds and I got some great tomatoes. Um, and then hopefully in the future I can grow them again. Um, you know, and then I guess I just run the risk that you know, down the road, they may uh, revert to one of the parents. I, I don't know, but I experiment with them. So, but these are organic seeds, um, but I'm having a horrible time getting these little suckers to, to sprout. Out of all fairness, this is the first two. These are the first two seeds, I believe. Um, I might have had some other ones. I'm trying to keep a log um, and trying to write down what's going on. Unfortunately, I am a little bit overwhelmed with the log <laughs> trying to keep it up to date because I'll do something and I forget that I've done it. Um, I actually have a small notebook around here. It's green, um, the, you know, for plants. But um, I, I try to keep, try to write down like a little journal entry, uh, smaller entries there as I'm doing things. That way I can go back and elaborate. Um, so long story short, I do close these. I do apologize for my ramblings. I do talk forever in a day, so that will be a common thing that you guys will probably see in my videos. So, um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I do see some black residue there. So, it almost looks like maybe that might be a little bit of mold growth. I'm not uh, entirely positive. Um, my guess is that it is mold growth. Um, 
and my guess is that all these seeds will probably end up getting thrown out um, uh, unless um, the the mold or mildew or whatever that is growing ends up to be harmless I, I don't know that it is or it's harmful harmless maybe somebody can help me out here um, these are all tomato seeds uh, we got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 tomato seeds. Um, and then we have a bunch of little strawberry seeds. Um, just harvest off of a strawberry. Uh, I am just kind of doing an experiment. These are a lot of old seeds that I've had for a couple years now. Um, so I really don't honestly believe that um, these are actually going to do a whole lot. Um, never grown strawberries, um, so that is also a factor. Um, so I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Um, my guess is with the mold or mildew growing, I must have had too much water in the, um, in the little container here, which has now caused the seeds not to sprout, which has then caused the mildew to grow. Um, out of all fairness, um, actually, let me get my log here. And I will try to decipher when uh, I put these in. Um, here we go. Oh, lucky me. I have it all written down. It's set for the date. <laughs> okay, so um, I think what I'll probably do in the future is probably try to date to the left of the margin. I would show you guys all this chicken scratch, but you would not be able to read it anyways ah 310 i harvested some seeds oh okay so it was right around the 10th um let's see i believe today is the 12th so these seeds are only two two-ish days old so um i don't know uh two days is a very short germination time uh so i wouldn't expect to see these sprouted as of yet um, these other seeds that I showed you, um, see if I can get a date on those. Um, oh, I won't say because I don't see it listed. I apologize. I thought I was writing everything down, but apparently I have failed. So I will attempt to have my records a little bit better in the future. Um, I'm using... I'm just using a uh, notepad and paper, um, and I have several, several pages. I don't know, this might be something that I scan in and, or just take a picture of and um, upload later on. I don't know. Most people probably won't be able to read it, um, so I don't know if <laughs> anybody out there wants to type it up. Uh, I know typing it up myself would probably be a much better option, uh, unfortunately. I tend to think as I write, um, and so typing, I tend, I, I can write and type, but um, having my hands on the keyboard for long periods of time, I found to be troubling sometimes, uh, painful. So I tend to, um, I'm just writing at this point um, in, in a journal. So um, it, it might be something I take a picture of later on and upload. Uh, I'm not sure. But, so this is essentially the first stage of my seed starting process. I, I start them in here and um, I wait until they look... Oh great, it closed it. Um, there we go, I got it open. I wait until they're like this. I uh, then very gently, you know, once they're about that high or so, um, you know, about it, I like to do half inch to an inch. Um, I think I'm letting these sit in here a little too long. So I am going to try to get them out sooner um, into rock wool cubes, sooner than what I have been doing. Um, so that's first stage. Here's the second stage. Some of you guys will recognize or remember this from an other videos. Um, I'm not sure the order that these will get posted in, but um, uh, I am going to try to post them uh, as quickly as possible. So. Um, they get transferred to a container with a lid, a clear lid. Um, this particular lid I have taped closed. It has four air vents that I have, have closed. Um, this happens to be from Chick-fil-A. Uh, I happen to use just food safe, food grade uh, packages, um, containers. Uh, I know a lot of the containers that I'm using are one-time use containers, so I do understand the concept of that, but uh, I'm trying to 
be good to the environment and recycle, reuse, renew uh, as, as often as much as I can. Um, I'm certainly not the best recycler in the world, but I, I try to do what I can. Uh, I know if they happen to try to recycle these, they wouldn't receive 100% back of the product. So if I can use it and use it and use it until it gets sunburnt, um, you know, and begins to crack, then I can then recycle it at that point. Um, hopefully they don't sun uh, break down to UV and hopefully they, they last a long time and I'll have something there. Um, so that's pretty much it for this video. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later.